Greetings YouTube, welcome back to my channel. It is eight o'clock in the morning, well, 10 to eight in the morning here in Caceres, Spain. It's not light yet. Uh, I've just looked at Google Maps. Due to the traffic, the 500 miles I have ahead of me to get me to Bordeaux for tonight is gonna take knocking on for 10 hours. And that always takes longer in reality. So I'm hitting the road. It's gonna be mainly motorways today, but stuff always happens. It always does, so what I'm gonna do is uh, get going, bring you with me. It'll probably be a relatively short video today because um, I wouldn't imagine uh, there'll be that much variety in the, the motorway riding. But let's find out. It's a marathon and the marathon continues. There's still a long, long way to go to get home, but I'm one country closer. Let's have it. Ever loading up the bike, unloading it, but you get into a ritual, a kind of routine. I always think it takes a few days to get into the rhythm of the road, as I think of it, and uh, I've kind of definitely got there now. Um, haven't been on the road constantly and putting in these sort of mileages, 12 hour days. Day after day after day. So all this loading up in the dark and packing away at the last minute has sort of created a paranoia in me that I'm going to leave something important behind, like my passport or something. Um, so I'm forever checking, I'm checking, I've got my, you know, I've got my wallet, I've got my passport, I've got my bike keys, I've got uh, the phone, and on and on and on it goes. And uh, that's part of the routine that isn't so great. That and the aches and pains that are setting in now. Um, but I did set out to do 5,000 miles in 10 days. And it's going to be thereabouts, 5,000 miles. And uh, what am I to expect? I'm going to ache. I'm going to have the odd pain. Um, the routine is going to be a bit brutal at times, but that's the way it is. That's uh, the price I've paid for managing to go to the Sahara Desert and back home in 10 days. And it's just been amazing. It's just been amazing. Let's continue the adventure. Well, I've packed everything up. I think I've got everything. The OCD paranoia has kicked in and I'm thinking, what have I left behind? But I've double checked, triple checked, quadruple checked. I'm really happy with, I'm gonna jinx it now, but I'm really happy with the now six at the moment. Not only is it working well, but it's finding the addresses as well. And it agrees with what Google Maps says. I'm just gonna glance over my shoulder so I can just see. Right, nothing is lying on the floor. Cool. It agrees with what Google Maps says. It says I have about nine hours before I get to my destination today. So the plan when I get there, if, if at all possible, is uh, to go and find somewhere to eat. Uh, I didn't get to eat last night. Just got arriving at the accommodation at 11 o'clock, um, having set off at, oh gosh, 6.30 in the morning. Uh, it just didn't work out that way. So. I'm hoping tonight I'll get to eat properly. I mean, I'll eat through the day, you know, it'll be service station food, but it'll be food. And then I'm uh, looking forward to tomorrow because tomorrow it says I only have four and a half hours riding to get to Le Mans. So um, that'll be really, really good. Because then I can get to Le Mans early, I can go out, have an evening meal, I, uh, and have an explore and a bit of a chance to recuperate try and get rid of some of these aches and pains the thing hurting the most at the moment is my left elbow for some reason but then I have always had a bit of problem with that 
But the weird thing is, all of the aches and pains, my backside, my elbow, my hands, the clutch hand, etc. When I'm actually on the bike, they're better than when I'm off. So, go figure. Day, weekday life in Spain, people getting ready, going to work, all the kind of stuff you do everywhere in the world, and at home yourselves, myself as well. Um, gosh, that only just fits. Really only just fits. And it's the different side of the Spain that I associate with summer holidays. You know, down by the beach, just relaxing. This is normal life. Maybe put my rubber romper suit on as I call it, my old Harley Davidson walk proofs. And take the GoPro off charge so that I can see it up and make it walk proof. But we're making progress. Hola. Um, I think, by some strange quirk, I'm in exactly the same service station in Spain that I was really early in the morning, um, heading down to Morocco. Not planned at all, I just happened to be in the same place. I recognise the guy serving me and I recognise the establishment. Bizarre. There is still a long, long way to go. Bizarrely, I'm still loving it. <laughs> it must be some sort of nutter. It's difficult to get on, but it's the best bit of motorcycling kit I've ever bought. And even if it doesn't rain, and who knows, it might, it might not, it's gonna help keep me warm. <laughs> I don't think I have the strength to actually get it on anymore. <sighs> so that's good. I'm no longer hungry. The coffee has helped. 
wakes me up a bit. The bike's full of fuel. I'm wrapped up in case it starts raining. The GoPro's waterproof again because I've taken it off charge. Um, hopefully we're in good shape. Just better make sure I get on this this motorway the right in the right direction. That would be a disaster to start heading south again. But I'm relying on sat now because right, my sense of direction is completely shot. It's a bit lighter now, which is good. Uh, so it's a bit miserable, I think, riding when it's dusk or half light in the morning. Certainly at night, I, I prefer to ride during the day. I prefer to ride in sunshine in about 25 degrees, to be fair. That looks a bit ominous to me. That have wrapped up in my rubber romper suit. Proudly displaying Harley Davidson on my chest whilst riding my BMW. for five hours I've covered a lot of ground most of it's been in really heavy rain uh, it seems to be my modus operandi when I'm riding through Europe certainly France and now Spain um, anyway it's time for me to eat something Stick some fuel in the bike. We've got through about half a tank, so it wouldn't hurt to fill up. And if I could combine fuel stops with eating stops, then it would save me a little bit of time. Uh, yeah, making good progress. I've worked out why my elbow aches. reach over with my left hand on left left handed plus otherwise I have to throttle off and squeeze the, the, the button on the GoPro to turn it on now that sounds like not very much at all but in a, in a day's filming I'm probably generating 250 almost 300 files Uh, that's like 500 600 presses and with the gloves on and it's quite a firm button it's quite hard work and that's 
absolutely causing a problem with my elbow so I'm now doing it with my right hand I'm not doing it so much today but with my right hand which means the less I've got the cruise control on the bike slows up and then it speeds up and then I have to speed up again so that's at least I've worked out what's causing the problem anyway I'm going to go and pay for this fuel then get some food and get warm and then carry on for another five hours or so frozen I need a hot drink and some hot food I was wondering when I started this episode you know what would be the reason behind it because it's just motorway riding but I think the reason, and I'll have a discussion about it when, when I finally get to my accommodation tonight, it's going to be the realities of endurance motorcycle touring or long distance touring in a very short period of time and what that's all about and what it does to your body and what it does to your mind and your bike and your equipment and all that. Anyway, let's go get some food. Stop shaking. Oh, that's better. So this is an interesting combination. I took tortilla forget. I wouldn't have thought that would work, but it surprisingly is really, really nice. Um, I had one on the ferry yesterday, uh, and it's hot, and it's going to warm me up and stop me shivering, because I am shivering. So, bon appetit. just outside Bordeaux, a suburb of Bordeaux and I think my Airbnb is one of the apartments behind me but I've actually got to find it so I'm going to get on with that hmm. so yesterday I was too tired at the end of the video to um, show you where I'd been on the map and I'm almost that way again today but I promised I would so I will show you now uh, Morocco I started my 16 hour riding day, yeah, 16 hours in Meknes and I worked my way up here, 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 here and then I came along to Port Tanjamed 
I then got the ferry across to Algeciras. And then if we come over here, there's Algeciras on this Spanish map, which is absolutely huge. Um, and then along here, skirt around the edge of Seville, kept on going, kept on going, kept on going, kept on going, kept on going to Casares. Right, now we'll have a look at uh, what we did today. Uh, 555 miles, 555 miles, I think that's right. And uh, it took me about 11 hours, a bit more. In that time I had probably, I had two fuel stops and with one of them I sat and ate, the other one I just kept going. Uh, when I sat and ate, I was probably sat for, I don't know, 40 minutes tops, something like that. Anyway, so I started the day off Casares and worked my way up here, skirting around Salamanca. Then past Valladolid, if that's how you say it, I have no idea. And then along here, oh, actually, I came along here past Burgos, worked my way over here. And then we've got to jump to this map of France. And I come over here somewhere here and I've worked my way up to Bordeaux. And then tomorrow is a much more leisurely day. Google Maps says four and a half hours um, to get myself to Le Mans. So uh, tomorrow is going to be more relaxed. And I'm really, really looking forward to that. It's been quite intense, to be honest. Um, so I'm going to have a, a, a more gentle breakfast in the morning, either here in Bordeaux, if I can find somewhere nice or on the road. And then when I get to Le Mans, I intend to get into my Airbnb and then be a tourist and wander around for a bit and explore and have an evening meal somewhere in Le Mans. Yeah, that's the plan. So I uh, I titled this video, um, What You Need to Know, The Realities of uh, Endurance Motorcycle Touring. Uh, something like that. I don't know. I haven't actually written the title yet. I still, I'm still living the moment. But uh, what do you need to know? Well, I suppose the first thing is quite obvious. It's very tiring. Now, by endurance motorcycle touring, what I mean is going um, as far as you can <laughs> in as the little bit of time you might have available to you. So in an ideal world, I'd potter around and I'd explore everywhere I go to and I'd look at everything and I'd uh, be the full on tourist. But this trip, for example, I had 10 days, a window of opportunity, 10 days long. And I knew what I wanted to do. I wanted to get to the Sahara. I wanted to see Shefshun, um, Marrakesh, uh, everything else kind of. I was just going to take it as it comes, which is what I've done. And uh, the reality was to do that. I don't know what the exact total total is yet with the mileage, but it's somewhere around 5000 miles. And I had 10 days, so f averaging 500 miles a day, obviously, and that takes time and effort. So, um, for instance, getting to Morocco and getting back from Morocco is just a case of get the miles done, bang them in, down the motorway, payages. It would be lovely to do d roads through France and, and take in all the rural villages and stuff. But, you know, I'd have to give a week to get in through France as opposed to a day um so basically i've i've ridden through spain i've ridden through france um and a chunk of england in two and a half days getting down and similar sort of thing coming back as well and uh yeah it takes its toll at the start of the at the start of the the trip you know i'd be a little bit uncomfortable by the end of the riding day um, and each day has been a good 10 hours, some 12, some 16. Yesterday was 16. That's too long, definitely. Um, and the uh, the aches and pains by morning would be gone. I'd, it's like my body would reset itself and I'd jump back on the bike and off I'd go again. But now um, they're not going and it's getting cumulative. Um, so my my left hand the fingers on my left hand which which i have problems with anyway um 
are aching now, all the, all the clutch changing and, and operating the GoPro. My left elbow, which I've definitely got problems with, um, is hurting a lot. And, and that I worked out today is the GoPro. What I have to do is reach across. GoPros are designed like everything in life for right-handed people, the on-off buttons on the right side. Um, so I have to reach all the way across and do this kind of action like this, which is looks nothing, it looks absolutely nothing. Um, but with gloves on and, and the fact that the button's quite, quite firm to depress, it takes quite a lot of effort. And for some reason it sets my elbow off hurting. So having realized that, I now have swapped to the right hand to do it. The only problem is then I have to throttle off, as I mentioned earlier. But that's going to sort my, that, that elbow out. My backside starts to get uncomfortable after 10 hours, probably. So that's like a real recommendation for the, the standard seat on the GSA. Um, mine's a 2017 1200. Um, the seat is comfortable. It's comfortable. After that amount of time, it starts to get a bit uncomfortable and I'm shifting around in my seat. Um, I'm now finding getting on the bike in the morning, it feels a bit uncomfortable to start with anyway. But hey, I've been doing this for 11 straight days now, something like that. So I've got two more days until I'm home and I've rambled for long enough. So uh, yeah, it's obviously not for everybody. And in an ideal world, it wouldn't even be for me. I'd spend much more time exploring all the places I'm passing through but there are certain things I wanted to do a certain amount of time I had to do it so I just thought you know what I'm gonna get it done and I've coined the phrase endurance motorcycle touring because it that's what it is <laughs> that's just what it is so um with all that said I'm gonna say good night I'm gonna get a decent night's sleep and then I'm riding until the morning in the morning and after Le Mans, it's back to Calais and then home uh, to earn some money again to keep this show on the road. So I really, really hope you liked today's episode. Please give it a like. That makes a lot of difference. Please comment um, what you think about the crazy, crazy schedule I've, I've had on the go. Um, I'm sure people will have their own opinions on how you should do it. And uh, please subscribe please, please subscribe. Once once I hit a thousand subscribers, then some money will start coming in and that will help keep this rolling as well. Thank you. Good night. I'm knackered.